Okay, in this video, we're going to uh, explain how to set up your TCP IP settings for your Yosung ATM using an OpConnect and CDS as your processor. So the first thing you wanna do is log in using your master password. You would uh, enter, clear, cancel, one, two, three on your keypad, then select operator function, then enter your master password. Then you come up to this menu. First thing you want to do is set it up for TCP IP. You would select customer setup, select processor, communication, TCP IP, and cancel back out one time. Then you want to select your TCP IP type. Make sure it says standard. Make sure your SSL TLS is disabled. And cancel out one time. Then go to your message format. Make sure your message format is set up for standard three. Cancel out two times. Then you wanna to go to standard three options. Then you wanna to go to make sure your status monitoring is enabled, your communication header is enabled. Then you wanna set your communication ID. You see it's all, zeros right now so we want to clear the line and we want to enter ATM I zero zero now the way you want to do this is you go to alpha characters first and you want the A that's column two so you hit two on your keypad and you see the A is highlighted and you hit enter then we want T next that's column eight so you hit eight on your keypad T is highlighted hit enter then you want an M that's column six Again, enter, got our M. Now we want I. You see that's column four, but it's the third one down. So you hit four, three, two times, three times to get to I, enter. Now we want to go zero, zero. This is going to be our uh, numeric character. So we want to go back to our numeric characters and zero, zero. Zero's highlighted, enter, enter. We got our two zeros. Now we want to select OK. Now our operation is successful. We want to make sure the CRC is disabled. Now you want to cancel out of there twice. Now you want to go to host setup. Then you want to go to host address. And you want to set address one. Now for CDS, it's going to be 192.168.1.90. So we go 192, and you see the period is the left arrow key, dot 168, again, dot 1, dot 90. Click OK. We got our address 1 set. Now address 2, it's going to be the same IP. So we want 192.168.1.90, enter. Operation successful. Now we wanna set our ports, okay? Port number one, we wanna set it to 7006. So enter 7006, enter, or hit okay, either one will work. Then uh, port two, host port two, it's going to be 7,000. Enter or OK. Both work. Now you see we've got all these set. Now you want to cancel out. Cancel out. Now you want to go to System Setup. And we want to go to Terminal IP. And make sure the DHCP is disabled. OK. Now you want to set the IP up. We want to set it up to 192.168.1.91. So it's 192, again, dot 168.1.91. Okay. Now we want our subnet mask to be 255.255.255.0. So we need to set that one. 255. 
255.255.0. Enter, we're okay. Now we wanna set our gateway. This is gonna be 192.168.1.90. 192.168.1.90. Enter, we're okay. Now we wanna cancel out of there. Cancel out of there. Now you can put your ATM back online and you should be ready to process transactions.